We have the next question from the mic over here. Thank you once again, uh, Brother Dr. Zakir Nai, the organizers and everyone present here today. Uh, first of all, I allow me to just clarify uh, my uh, sharing on the last question I asked during the ITM. Yeah, um, I just want to assure everyone that I come with good intentions, and I and I'm I'm quite and I'm quite sad and disappointed that some brother. As the rule was mentioned, two or three sentences. We don't want to repeat what you did in Shalom. Two or three sentences, no need of greeting us. Direct come to your question, two or three sentences, we'll give the answers. There are many people waiting in the queue, brother. So okay. see to it that don't okay. do what you did in Shalom. Ask a question in two or three sentences, forget the surrounding. It's my field answering question our session. Okay. Two or three sentences, ask your question, inshallah, I'll answer first. Yes, brother. I just want to, uh, this is not a question, I just want to uh, share uh, another viewpoint regards to Ali Kita. Brother, this is a question answer time. If you have a question, pose the question, that would be appreciated. I say this because, uh, very interestingly, because Malaysia also follow the uh, schools of Iman Shafi'i. And uh, actually, uh, Iman Shafi'i actually uh, uh, goes for the more open interpretations of the uh, Ali Kitab. Uh, as opposed to some uh, schools and juries that only limit it to the Jews and Christians. Actually, it's based on the, uh, the, uh, the schools of uh, Abraham, the Psalms of David, uh, Quran verse chapter 87 verse 19. And I and, uh, hear a commentary by uh, Professor Kamali in this book, Common Grounds Between Islam and Buddhism, which I'll, I will uh, present it to you afterwards. Brother, I told you last time, Imam Shafi wrote the book Al-Um. Get me reference from that, I will believe. You are getting a book somebody else wrote. For me, when I quote you Quran directly and read from the Quran, if you read from a book somebody else has written, that doesn't carry weight for me. For me, if you want to quote Imam Shafi, he had Jadid and Qadim. I have read that book. Quote me from that book. Don't quote me from a book somebody else has written. It's not correct. It's not verified. You are doing the same thing what is in Shah Alam. If you want to quote Imam Shafi, quote from his book Al-Um. Not from the book you are holding. The book you are holding is not Alum. You go to the library, get the book of Alum, get the translation quote from that, I'll believe in you. The last question for the night. Dr. Zakir Naich, uh, allow me to read to you about your comments about the people of the book only limited to the uh, Jews and Christians. This is a commentary by Prof. Hashim Kamali. I think he's quite an authority in Sharia. It's based on the words of the Quran. Those who restrict the category of Ali al Kitab to Jews sorry, and Christians. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What is the name you took? Which is the name of the famous sorry. person? You said because that. Just now, what uh, was the name of the commentary? Who wrote it? Prof. Hashim Kamali. Hashim Kamali, I haven't heard of him. First time I'm hearing. Yeah, please Google him. No, no, he's you said author. he's very famous. He's the chairman of uh, Institute of Advanced Islamic Study in Malaysia. Maybe famous in Malaysia. Yes, yeah. Maybe so famous. A, he may be. He may be good scholar. I'm not saying he's bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll, pass you, I'll pass you his book. You can read. But right but now, just for the uh, benefit of I haven't of heard the, of him. He may be a good person. He may be a good scholar. I'm not disagreeing with that. But I personally haven't heard of him. Yeah, yes, no. you can read the commentary. Okay. Okay. This is based on the Quran. He says that those who restrict the category of Ali Al Kitab to the Jews and Christians quote in authority the Quran, chapter six, verse one five six, which declares that books were revealed to two groups before. But the context where this phrase occurs actually questions rather than endorses the spirit of such limitation. Let us briefly examine the context. The verse, chapter 6, verse 156, immediately follows two other verses, one of which affirms the veracity of the Torah that contain guidance and light. The succeeding verse refers to the Quran itself has the blessed book, Kitabun Mubarakun, and an authoritative source. And then comes the verse, 6, 156. Lest you should say, bracket, thing, that books were sent down to two, bracket, groups of people, bracket, only, before us, and for our part, we remain unacquainted with a review book. The tone brother, of the discourse brother, here brother, is brother, excessive. Brother, all this doesn't make a difference. I'll give the reply again to you. All this doesn't make a difference to me, even I'm a student of the Quran. Let me tell you one thing. I want to repeat the answer which you have not heard correctly. I told you by meaning L.A. Kitab means people of the book. It can also mean people of the revelation. In that context, even Muslims are L.A. Kitab. Allah has sent many books. 
Quran says in Surah Raj chapter 13 verse number 38, the Kulli Ajlin Kitab. In every age we have sent a book. That's the definition. But when Quran uses an idiom, Ahle Kitab, it only refers to Jews and Christians, no one else. If I agree with that person, I don't know what context he's talking about, then there will be big chaos. Among the Ahle Kitab, there are those who say this. And it says, Ahle Kitab believe in law and gospel, meaning Torah and the Injil. With these, there are many verses in the Quran. With this, it is 100% sure that whenever Quran refers to LA Kitab, it only refers to Jews and Christians as an idiom. Otherwise, there are many other people who are LA Kitab. But when the Quran refers to it, and I give you the example, when Quran says, Oh Prophet, tell your wife and the believing woman, you ask me who's a prophet? Adam is prophet, Noah is prophet, Abraham is prophet, Musa is prophet, Jesus is prophet. But when Quran says prophet, it specifically refers to no one but Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I gave you the answer, you didn't hear it. I hear you, but I hope this that is you the also... answer. I disagree because if I follow with that, there'll be contradictions in the Quran. I don't agree there's contradiction in the Quran. Quran says, Ahle Kitab believe in Torah and the Injil. Now you will say, Buddhists believe in Torah and Injil. They cannot. Dr. Be and I, I, think, giving... I think we should learn how to agree to disagree. Not agree and to I disagree. Think, what you're yes. saying, if I agree with you, I'll I'm have not, to believe that... I'm not that... asking you to agree with me. I'm just Brother, uh, I'm sharing a with you.